Hello you guys, welcome back to another episode of our series. I'm sorry, the light is gonna go in and out because there's light behind me, there's light in front of me. I'll just start it right here. Um, welcome back to another episode of, that doesn't look very stable, of our home renovations, home updates, home stuff. Um, so earlier today, if you don't watch like my regular vlogs and you just watch like these home videos, Earlier today, I was vlogging um, us actually at the store getting everything, and I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do. I'm not sure if we're going to finish all of it today. I don't, I don't really know. But essentially, what we're going to be doing, I already changed into like my my paint shirt just in case we do end up painting. So you guys saw this last time and i don't mean the decorating part I, I am gonna do like a full um decor video and just walk through every single piece that's in each room once it's actually finished um and also once like we actually start styling it right now there's like furniture and stuff in here but it's not styled the way that i want it to be so all of that is going to be a part of the series but you guys saw basically this part of the living room get done but there's also this wall right here which is a whole nother project in itself won't be working on that today and then this massive wall. So this wall is basically as long as this wall. And it is just this huge entryway wall. Like our entryway is right here and then it's just this massive wall that I think the people that lived here before had like a, like a dresser. It was like a very weird thing here. What we've decided to do because it's such a big wall and can hold a lot we are going to do crown molding along the entire wall um we bought all of the molding today at home depot along with all the tools and all that stuff and then once we do the crown molding and paint it and do all that stuff obviously then i think we're going to get like a really big table like a big console table and decorate the table because again it has to be very big because this is a really big wall as of right now i just have like our coat rack which we live in florida so there's no need for coats so this can essentially go away and then i have this huge mirror that i'm going to transfer into my office room which that's another transformation that's coming very soon like you guys will probably see that video after you see this video because i already bought the paint i bought a lot of the things that i want to buy i just need to get my desk and my office chair but aside from that this huge mirror it is very 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 big there's leonard will be going in that office as well or in my office and then there isn't really anything else like there's this huge black vase which i can move that over here a fire extinguisher because you know i guess you got to be prepared and then there's just our little robot vacuum thing leonard's toys so there isn't really anything on this wall so once i move everything you'll be able to really see just how freaking large of a space it is. Lenny's toy basket can just come right here and then all these hats, it all here. So we're going to use the level. Like you can see, the wall is freaking ginormous. Maybe I can put, I don't know if this is too far, on the fireplace. Uh, let's see. He is putting the leveler. I think, is that what it's called? Laser level. A laser level. I got that for him for our anniversary because I don't know, it was something he wanted. But so far, it's been useful twice now. So the dog loses his mind. You want me to? Just go for it. Lenny. There's a natural line, right? Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be based off of how no. high the countertop is. So I feel like the countertop here is 36 inches. Okay. Exactly three feet. So. And that's where the separation you think should be? Well, if we come over here and we go up to 36 inches. Three, Lenny. Three foot. If we do um, 
have some kind of like line going across or separation between the two, like this would be a good point for like being the highest spot of the lower section of that thing. Leonard, you're about to get locked up. You're locked outside. All right, the line is at 36 inches. This gives us our first line. So kind of, if you just look at it, even it looks good. It looks like if you come across, it does, it's like, yeah. Well, like look over here to where the counter is. Like it mm -hmm. comes right across to the counter. The green laser, you can even see it on the bottom of the paint can right here. Oh yeah, so, so it meets like, right at the top of the counter. Yeah, it's, this might be a touch high, but that's crazy. Looking at this line here, it doesn't feel like this is the same height. Like it just doesn't feel like yeah. it, like looking at it from a it distance. This looks higher, right? I feel like this looks lower. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. So now what we have to do is if we're going to figure out, all right. So this wall, I already measured it. It's huge. 16 feet, I believe. In height or length? Oh, length. length. Okay. Yeah. It's really, you want me to hold this? Yeah. Four is going to be wider. Five will obviously be more narrow. You I think four. four. I want them to be big. I don't want them to be like thin or small. So, so I prefer bigger. What I just need to do, what, I, what we can do real quick. Would we be able to, this is just asking, would we be able to do three or would that be too much? Like too you, big? You could, but so we can turn the laser off. Let's run a piece of tape on this, uh, I'll run a piece Where of tape across is? that so we can turn it off. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I didn't see that. Okay, so but what you need to do is we need to make yeah. pull very tight. Yeah, we just need to make sure that like the tape can flex. So like every once in a while we have to like make sure that it's actually sticking right above that line. I think the lower and the higher will look nicer. If, if you think so, then yeah, let's do that. Okay. Do you like the gap between the two? Yes. Let's run a tape. Same thing, so it's going to go above. Yeah. Tape on a different side. Okay, so here is the update. He has literally mapped out the entire thing. It's gonna look so good. Very, very excited. Okay, so many, 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 many hours later, it is 10 o'clock and Tyler just finished mapping out the panels. This is what they look like right now. It looks perfection. Um, we're gonna finish it tomorrow, but I wanted to show you guys kind of where we stopped He said he has tips if you're somebody that wants to DIY this that he is going to talk about I asked him I was like is there anything I can do to help and he was like not really like I gotta finish this um, And then tomorrow when we start doing the rest of that then we'll be able to but I think tomorrow um, After I finish doing some work in the morning. I'm going to start on my room um which this is going to be a whole separate project, but this is the room here. And this is basically going to be like my office work space. The paint, I have my art, I have sconces, I have lighting, I have everything except for a desk and a chair, which I'll probably end up ordering at some point, but that's gonna be another project that I'm probably gonna start tomorrow. So I'm just gonna have all the projects flowing as consistently as possible, but for right now, this is where we're at, and I, I really love it. I think it's perfect spacing. It makes the wall look so grand, even though there's like not even panels there yet. Like, it's just the thing. We left the ladders out and all that. So, um, that is it for today, but I will be sure to keep you guys updated for tomorrow when we start again. So, today is day two of this project. Tyler just got home from work. So we're gonna get back to it. He might have to leave to go get a tool. But once he gets back, we have all of the trim right here. He's going to cut the trim, measure the trim, cut it, stick it, 
and then we have to paint it. Okay, so he's back with a miter saw. So hopefully this does the trick. So this is from Ryobi, right? Is that what it's called? Ryo Ryobi, Ryobi. Not the one I wanted, but it was cheap. Okay, so here's today's stopping point. It looks so good already. This is this one is the only one that's completed, like top and bottom. Um, all the bottoms are done. And then we just have to get, I think he said, I'll ask him when he comes in here, but we're gonna keep all this out because we're gonna finish it tomorrow or continue on it tomorrow. For the sake of the video, how many more of the poles do we need? Or sticks, slats, whatever they are. Um, Aside from that. Four more. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, we need four more and that'll complete these. Five just to be here. And then you see, do we need, so we need to do caulking? Yep, I already got the caulk. Okay, and then caulking and then do we have to sand? Or are we just caulk and paint? Uh, I mean, we'll like make sure that everything's nice and Smooth. looks good first, but then yeah, pretty much. And it's what time is it right now? I don't even know. Ten. Ten o'clock. So. Oh, my phone's really and he's been working on this for a couple of hours. That is the stopping point for today, but tomorrow we will pick back up and finish it. Day three of the walls. I just got home. Um, Were you time lapsing on your phone? Yeah, it's on the thing. Wow. Looks beautiful. I'm not sure if you're hungry. Not really. I mean, I, I don't know. 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 I don't
it's done well it's not finished but they're up and they look stunning like who would have thought literally some pieces of material on a wall would make this much impact beautiful what's the next piece of uh to clean all this up okay So since it's finished getting installed, Tyler has some tips on what he says that he learned and that he thinks he would do different if he was going to do it again. Well, first off, don't even attempt to do it by hand. Get the saw or rent the saw from Home Depot. You can do that. It's pretty affordable and cheap. You need the saw. Um, you need patience. <laughs> Lots of that. Uh, but. I would definitely make some kind of spacer, you know what I'm saying? Like, to get the gaps mm. perfectly without having to do so much measuring. Right. Like, I would, if there was a four inch gap everywhere, I would just cut, like, I would have something that's four inches. Right. I could that just makes stick sense. there and then just nail it right next to it. Cause yeah. after it's all said and done, it's not perfect. It's almost impossible to see with the naked eye unless it gets pointed out to you. Yeah. Like the little, you know, the spaces sp and differences and yeah. stuff. But with that being said, because it's unnoticeable and I did so much measuring, like if you definitely use some kind of spacer, like it would be a lot easier, faster, mm -hmm. and nobody would be able to tell the minute indifferences. Mm -hmm. And you can even see like the ceiling isn't perfect. So like there's some spots where the ceiling is wavy, but the boards are going straight across. Right. But that's just like, you know, you can't really do anything about that. But I mean, yeah. Take it looks time. amazing. Yeah. Total time, I'd say so far, we're probably like six. More than that. I, yeah. I More mean, than that. Six hours was I'd just the measuring and So spacing. far, yeah, we're 10 hours deep. Shit, more sure. than that i'd say about 12 because yesterday was about three hours the day before that was about six hours and then today it's been i don't know i wasn't here when you started it wasn't very long you're i i was probably working for like 20 minutes if that okay so i'd say maybe yeah maybe 10 hours Let's see 10 hours right now all of our outlet covers and like this is hideous it's like a i don't even know what color that is a yellowy ugly it's ugly it's just ugly. But anyways, I'm going to eat while I do some research on just decor, which we're obviously not going to do that right now. I just kind of want to get my mind it's flowing. Here, it, looks nice. it looks fucking amazing. Like, it looks so pretty and so grand. Beautiful. Great job, mister. Okay, get your so, you got your finger wet first? Yeah. Okay, now so what do I do? you're just gonna like find a hole and just kind of go over it. it. It doesn't take a lot, literally, it's like, okay, and then just you want to just get extra, yeah, just make sure, whatever. And if you have, you know, if you have to use the rag, you can use the rag, but. Like, is that good? Yeah, it doesn't, yeah, you're just making sure that. Everything's it, even. It's, you're not necessarily gonna be able to like look at it and be like, So it has been caulked, smoothed, everything, and it is basically ready to be painted. So I'm going to paint the trim the same color as this, which you can see it's pretty close. It still stands out a little bit, but it is pretty close in color. And I don't even mind the two-tone, but I really like the look when it's all the same color. So I'm going to go on a quick break. Tyler has to like... Uh, spackle this and just any other I think that's the only one little holes that are in the wall from the people that lived here before us and then I am going to paint because he has to go to work and then it'll be complete I am still very undecided on what the final look of it is gonna be like the design of it 
I might put a big table. I, I'm not really sure because it's such a big wall that it can hold so much. But I'm at least so happy that with this, it has so much personality already and so much character that there's no rush. Like there's no real rush. It's fine. It's beautiful. So I'm actually gonna take my dog for a walk and when I get back, I'm going to paint. Okay, you guys, here's the wall in all of her glory and it is beautiful. I am in love with it. I have to figure out what the decor aspect is gonna be, but as far as all of it, it is gorgeous. It makes such a statement. It's, I think my husband did a great job with all of it. So I just wanted to give you guys a final view of what it looks like. It is, oh God, it's so beautiful. I have no idea as far as decorations, what I'm going to do, but I think I'm gonna include that in a video as well. Like once I figure out exactly what I wanna do here, because this is such a grand wall, it can hold a lot of whatever. Um, so I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with it, which I'll end up, if I go to Home Goods or go shopping for stuff, I will create other videos. We're also gonna do this wall with the molding. I think we're gonna do just two big panels because this is not that big of a wall. It's a lot smaller. Yeah, you can see there. And we just have just random stuff from when we moved in. We're gonna do two big panels here, like one, two, um, two on the bottom. And then I'm gonna like frame really, really big two of our wedding pictures and put them there and then use the, um, <clears throat> like have an art light hanging over the middle maybe a small like stool or console table at the bottom, but you guys will see all of that in a project as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing us DIY this crown molding and just the whole process of it. And I'll bring you guys along for the next one.